And now, Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of Rockwall Automation, Blake Moret. Well, good morning, everyone. I have to tell you, I am absolutely thrilled uh, that it's that time of year again. We're at Automation Perspectives, part of Automation Fair Week. And this really is the best week of the year to be associated with Rockwell Automation. It uh, you know, gives us all just a jolt of energy uh, that carries us through the, uh, the year to come. And I think this is a particularly exciting time for us, and I'll talk about some of those reasons. Most of you uh, know who Rockwell Automation is uh, to some extent, and this is a summary that you've seen a lot in the past. It talks about how big we are, where we are, a little bit about the growth and performance over a period of time. But for a lot of people around us, uh, and I'm no different, every, every few years, you know, somebody like my wife says, all right, Blake, try again, what do you do? And, uh, so I'm going to I'm going to come I'm going to come at it uh, in a couple of uh, a couple of different ways. You know, in addition to just the financials of Rockwell, we could also see that we take a special type of computer and along with sensors and other hardware and software, we automate manual repetitive physical processes. And that that may help a little bit and maybe there are a few people out there that that touches. But let's, uh, let's try it a different way and talk about what are the outcomes that we produce for customers. Because all we do is to help industrial companies and their people be more productive. We're a pure play. The whole organization is focused on that productivity. And it shows up in one or more of the ways that you see here. So we help companies that make things bring their product to market faster. We help with their operational productivity, their OEE. We help with the reliability of their equipment, of their assets. And we help them manage risk. And Ninva mentioned some of those elements of risk that all of us have to deal with. So that may cause a light to come on uh, for some people. But what probably is most compelling of all is when we can bring it to specific industries and when we talk about for food how we help make sure that the food that our customers produce tastes the same way every time all around the world and that the machinery builders that they work with have the flexibility to provide different packaging styles to maximize shelf space. That's what's important if you're, if you're in the food business. If you make pharmaceuticals, obviously you want to make sure that you're compliant with all the rules and regulations. And certainly, more people than ever before have the opportunity to buy drugs that help them live longer, healthier lives. And so making sure that the dosage is correct and it's the right amount each time and that there's traceability so that you understand where it went through the supply chain. All those things are areas that we provide equipment and software to help. To ensure that the world has abundant energy, to make sure that the people who are involved in the production processes and in the refining processes operate in safe environments, and in many cases can actually operate equipment remotely and monitor it. Those are all things that we do. And so when we are able to understand our customers' best opportunities for productivity and describe what we can do in their language, then we're truly bringing the connected enterprise to life. This is our home turf. We've been doing this for 115 years. And that's a strong legacy, and we're proud of that. That basic automation of those repetitive processes is what's driven this industry for many, many years. But now technology is allowing us to unlock an additional level of productivity. It's taking the data that's a natural byproduct of those 
basic automation processes and turning it into insights that can unlock a whole additional level of productivity. And it's happening at a great time because more people than ever before are entering the middle class with the financial resources to want more things, things that many of us in this room take for granted. But that's driving a lot of the demand for being able to produce competitively, particularly in the consumer-facing in the consumer facing vertical industries. At the same time, and as a, as a potential headwind, we see the workforce, the people who were part of the initial waves of microprocessor-based automation, programmable controller CNC robotics, they're moving into the retirement phase of their lives. And there's not enough people coming up who have the interest to work in these production environments. And so, first of all, we have a responsibility for showing the great jobs that are available to people moving into these roles. And that's why we've taken a much more visible position in workforce development, because that's absolutely a part of our mission. But it's also making sure that our controls are simple and easy to use and that we have workers who are comfortable interacting with the advanced technology. Lower cost of computing and connectivity certainly makes it easy to establish the connections, but as we know, just getting all that data into one place without understanding the context and understanding the end result, what you want to do with it, can lead to more confusion than ever. And there's also an opportunity now to be able to act because the economy is strong. We emerged from a manufacturing recession only in 2016. And so while the general period of economic expansion is, has been going on for a while now, we think that the economy in our world is going to remain strong. We are in a traditionally conservative industry. Things move slowly. When people figure out how to meet their production goals, they generally don't touch it. But as we're seeing the need to be more agile than ever before, competing in a global economy, being able to act more rapidly to be a first mover and to capture share, the influence of IT technology is causing our industry to pick up the pace a little bit. And we embrace that change. And we embrace the need for speed that may not have been there as urgently as before. And it's both in the acquisition of technology and our own development efforts, as well as recognizing the human challenges involved with that. That change management is real within our own organization and also with the customers that we're partnered with. But when we combine the strengths of both, the newer technology as well as an engaged, enthusiastic workforce, anything is possible. And when we do this well, we can expand human possibility. We can make these processes more intelligent and you'll hear from Jim Heppelman of PTC, a great example of how we make processes more intelligent. We can make enterprises more connected, both from the technology and the, the basic communication of data, but also the people being able to work together. And that, again, is an area that we're ramping up our efforts in our own workforce development, but also as a service to our customers, because it's that total picture that truly expands human possibility. And then back to our primary reason for being, helping companies be more productive, you'll see a video that features METSO, an important mining ecosystem partner, and I think you'll see how we're helping them help their customers be more productive than they ever thought possible. 
We made huge strides in 2018 in many of these fronts. This really was a watershed year for us. We had great growth and performance, and we also put some strategic foundations in place. Certainly the investment in PTC was, was probably the biggest of those, but also some of the internal things that we did to ensure that we are able to pick up that pace, bring innovation as part of the connected enterprise to life more fast, faster than ever. We thought it was important enough to give it a little bit of a visual exclamation point. And as you see, we've updated our graphics, our branding, and this is really the first time that a, uh, an external audience has seen what we've been working on. So we're proud of this. We think that it's, uh, it's an important way to punctuate the changes that you'll see. It's a family of brands. It certainly continues to include perhaps our most, our most storied brand, the Allen Bradley Octagon, but it also includes factory talk, which replaces Rockwell Software as the designation for all of our software offering. And as we double click on factory talk, you'll see the suites within factory talk, organized in the way that our customers interact with industrial software, the design suite, the operation suite, maintenance, and really importantly, the innovation suite powered by PTC with many of their exciting offerings. We're looking equally forward to 2019. It's going to be a great year. We're going to keep score in one dimension as we, as we have in the past, and that's through continued share gains in our core platforms. Double-digit growth through the new value from the connected enterprise of information solutions and high-value connected services, and also continued inorganic investments and partnerships, because that's a fundamental part of who we are. We don't do it all. We're able to harness the differentiation and the expertise of our many partners in technology, in domain expertise, and in market access to provide the very best offering available for our customers. We've also made some organizational changes with some announcements in the summer and then more recently in our sales and marketing area. And we're excited about that because it allows us to bring in new perspectives to my senior team and to their teams while continuing to benefit from the experience of leaders that have contributed to our success for many years. And all of this is based on bringing the connected enterprise to life. At the end of the day, it really comes back to people. And I know that sounds a little strange for an automation company to spend so much time talking about people. But at the end of the day, all of us, regardless of our roles, are looking for a few basic things in what we do for work. First of all, we all want to know that what we are doing is important. We want to know that we have the tools and the support to be able to do a good job and then finally, if we do a good job, we want to know that we have the chance to get ahead. When we do that well, when we bring the connected enterprise to life well, then we enable those things for the people who engage with our technology and our people, and we truly expand human possibility.